So this here is McDonald's Hong Kong. Pineapple and chicken pizza because I know you guys hate pineapple on pizza, but pizza with pineapple is the only way to do it. Now we're also gonna do, oh my God, condensed milk and peanut butter thick toast. Normal, usual. That's normal. Yeah. Okay. You know what? Um, let's do one of those too. Why not? We got our sweet potato cheesecake. We got a cup of mashed potatoes. I swear I've only seen this like at Popeye's and Church's Chicken. My pizza that's been exposed to the environment. What's up everybody? Welcome back to another beautiful day here in Hong Kong. Now today, I'm actually walking around the Mong Kok area. I just met up with Virginia. You guys saw her a few days ago. She's with uh, Humid with the Chance of Fish Balls. I finally got the name right. Well done. Now she does um, food tours around Hong Kong. However, today I'm giving her a food tour because I invited her to join me to explore McDonald's here in Hong Kong. When I told her that, she was like, what? Why? Why do you want to go to McDonald's? Well, tell them why. Apparently, there's a lot of different things in Hong Kong versus the McDonald's back home. Yep, there's a lot of different things and Hong Kong is actually home to the fanciest McDonald's in the world. Now, I actually went to the so-called fanciest McDonald's in the world and there's nothing really too fancy about it. I think the fancy comes with the menu. What can be served at the McDonald's. However, we just found out something that the McDonald's that do have the craziest menus are the ones that actually have the Met Cafes. We just walked into the wrong one and now we're heading to the right one. So how far you guys are we? Don't, you guys don't have Met Cafes in, in the US? You know, I don't think I have ever seen a Met Cafe in the US. They just slap like a Met Cafe cup when you order a coffee. Um, but we don't really have like a legit one. I've traveled around the world now, so I know what a legit one is. And like in Asia and in Europe, they have proper Met Cafes, like where they have cheesecakes, all kinds of good desserts. Um, some have pastas, some have, yeah, I don't know. What else have I seen at a McDonald's? So like if it's like, crazy dessert flavors then we can only specifically usually get it at a dessert kiosk not a whole oh. one it's just like a dessert dessert kiosk so that's when you get all the crazy mcflurries and different flavors okay your mccafe is more for like that after like breakfast has sandwiches cakes oh coffee they do a really cheap cappuccino things like that okay um, and then the normal mcdonald's they usually do like always like a limited edition menu right now it's like those Shogun Japanese burgers. Okay. Yeah. That hopefully we could get our hands on. Now, what's the craziest menu item you've ever seen at a McDonald's here in Hong Kong? Um, you guys think it's crazy or like really weird, but it's actually like a shrimp, a deep fried shrimp. What? Like tempura, and then there's like a pineapple on top. <laughs> like half it's really popular in Hong Kong, but then I've seen like other people eat it and they're like completely disgusted with it. Okay, all right. Well, let's hope we can find a little fried shrimp with some pineapple on it at a McDonald's here. Now, this here is the intersection that we're on right now. I'm actually staying um, in this building right here. Super beautiful hotel called the Cordis. And yeah, the streets are active today. It's a Monday evening, actually more so like an afternoon. It's about 4 p.m. now, right? Yeah, 4 p.m. Man, I'm good at... Um, Telling the time based off the light that is shining. But here in Hong Kong, it's kind of weird. You can wake up and it's super cloudy and looks like it's like late in the evening, but the day is just getting started. So very weird place, but you beautiful. Know, when I went back home, I wasn't used to it because I'm like, why is it so dark at night? And then I realized it's because there's so much light pollution in Hong Kong that even at night, it doesn't look that dark. Fair enough. Yeah. That's interesting. Interesting you point that out. Well, yeah, we're slowly approaching the McDonald's now. Um, is it on this street or the next one? Um, it's the next one. It should be right on Nathan Road. Okay, so let's cross one more street. Look how busy it is, guys. I mean, a lot of people out on the road right now enjoying the, the nighttime vibes, the evening vibes. Now, is this an area where there's like a lot of money? Because I've noticed when I was leaving my hotel to meet you up, man, I saw it. Six Lamborghinis all like within the first five minutes of leaving my house and I was like not even in Beverly Hills do I see that. Okay, not generally. Mong Kok is like crowded corners where people go shopping for like where the teeny boppers hang. Forever 21 used to be have a have a store here. That's kind of like the area, but it is really crowded. It is very commercial. So you might have seen the Lamborghinis for other commercial buildings. Oh, okay. Alright, we're gonna turn left. We're gonna turn left. This building? Is it this building? There's one building with a ton of 
specialist doctors that everybody goes to. So, really? Yeah. I feel like there's just something something crazy going on in every corner in Hong Kong. Like, if you visit this city, I mentioned it, I think, a few videos ago, but if you visit this city and you find yourself bored, you have a problem. <laughs> because walking around, okay, maybe I'm just saying that as a tourist, but walking around and like, just looking at all the lights, all the big advertisements, man, it's enough to keep you entertained for a few hours. I don't know. You tell me, you've lived here for a while. Do you walk around here and sometimes you're bored or not? Well, see, because I live here, I don't usually just meander. I feel like sometimes there's always like a purpose. I'm meandering because they're making a new tour, but I kind of okay. feel like I really like the eyes of a, of a tourist because you're just like absorbing everything in. You're looking at things that I've never realized, like how here it's super crowded. There's tons of jewelry shops now that I look at about. It's like, yeah, it's like really interesting. It's kind of like being a tourist in your home, in your city. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice way to look at it. Now we actually just got done filming a, a video on Virginia's channel. She wanted to try one of like my style videos, like a bit more raw. It was quite quite entertaining and I think it came out pretty good. So I'll leave the link to that video down below so you guys can go show her some love. And make sure you leave that comment and say that I sent you because um I'll know. Yeah, that way we get some credit where credit is due, not playing. But hey there's a McDonald's across the street. Is that the one or here. Okay. There's a Harvey Nichols Man, there's a McDonald's on every corner here, guys. It's quite crazy. I think there's more McDonald's in Hong Kong than there is in the U.S. We're, we're slowly approaching it? Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll keep the camera rolling because um, this is quite interesting, actually, and I know you guys love looking at all the streets you guys are people watchers just like me i mean i like to sit down at coffee shops or anywhere where there's outdoor sitting or a window and just people watch are you a people watcher yeah. yes <laughs> i love it wow. i think it was that one no no it's supposed to be in this corner right here oh really we do have to cross the street. oh so we do have to cross the street okay i see a kfc I see a KFC, but I don't see no golden arches. We'll soon find out. Oh, is that the street where? I'm so confused by your map. Oh, there's a McDonald's right there. That's it. Oh, it's on that's that it, corner. That's it, that's it. Oh man. Oh no, I'm like going the wrong way. This girl lives here. Can you believe that, guys? Lost. <laughs> I'm just saying. Lost in my own city. But she's like, she's like, bro. I never go to McDonald's, man. You're bringing me to Mickey D's. Cafe. Oh, watch out. All right. Well, there we go. We got our beautiful McDonald's, and this one's tucked in in the cut. Look how small this place is. So, this here is McDonald's Hong Kong. Now, right off the bat, as soon as you walk in, oh no. Please enter from the main entrance. That way, okay. All right. Well, let's try that. I'm glad that was just a maintenance sign. My heart dropped. I was like, no. Can't happen again. All right, guys. Do you spend a lot of time here? I mean, we came here on my food tour. I, I spent a lot of time on this street, specifically. Because Forever 21 used to be on this street. Oh, fair enough. And all the, the food street. Forever 21's a good street. Oh, this no, looks more of like a, a warm welcome to the McDonald's here. This is a big entrance. And for the ladies, Sasa is like our Sephora. Oh, really? Right here. Can't say I got much experience inside of Sephora, but if you're looking for one, Sasa, right? Sasa, all pink. All pink. All right, let's, 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 let's go. All right. Look at the McDonald's entrance here in Hong Kong, guys. Super beautiful, big burger on the front. And right away, this is what I like to see. Some different stuff on the menu. Shogun burger with egg, Shogun burger. I've never had a Shogun burger. I believe that's Japanese though, right? Yeah, I think it's like I don't know what the meat is. Either pork, beef, chicken, donut. Mystery meat, my favorite. All right. Well, here we go. Oh yeah, this place is popping. Look how huge this McDonald's is. Oh my God, this McDonald's is huge. Oh yeah, this is exactly what I wanted. Look at this. Croissants, donuts, cheesecakes. Okay, you gotta get that. McPizza. What is that? 
that guy is a from white that peach. really popular uh, band, boy band, Mirror. And Mirror. He's like really popular. So you and they got boba it. tea. Okay, we're about to go hard, guys. So let's actually come over this way and let's get to ordering. Now, I won't bore you guys too much with the menu, but let's just go ahead and run through it. We're gonna do some eating in. We're gonna buy all kinds of stuff. So let's do. Let's start with the Met Cafe, the fun stuff first. Food. Ha ha. Pineapple and chicken pizza because I know you guys hate pineapple on pizza, but pizza with pineapple is the only way to do it. Now we're also gonna do. Oh my God! Condensed milk and peanut butter thick toast. Normal, usual. That's normal. Yeah. Okay. You know what? Um, let's do one of those too. Why not? What else do you recommend? Let, you said the drink. Where's the drink at? Right here. Beverages. Okay. Oh, wow. They got fresh lemon Coke. <laughs> Interesting. Strawberry shakes, fudge shakes. It's called white peach. White Over. peach. I don't see it. Maybe they're out. Some stuff I've realized that they that they run out of. Now, Wait, let's actually do... on the Cafe menu? Oh, maybe. Wait, there you go. Oh, white wow, peach yogurt frappe. Man, it's expensive. Should we do it though? I think yeah, we should do it. You look as pretty as him. Look. Yeah, why peach. not? What's his name again? I don't know. Okay. It could be. Man, this is about to be the most expensive McDonald's video I've ever filmed, guys. We've only ordered two things and it's 85. Something like uh, 10 US dollars? Yeah, over 10. Over 10. All right, well, we're about to break the bank here. Let me go um, a la carte menu. Let's get. Oh! Honey barbecue crispy, crispy chicken thigh. You know what? We've already seen fried chicken on the menu at McDonald's. Let's go for that Shogun burger. There we go. Do they have Let's that do it um, without the egg because I really don't need egg right now. What? Uh, fried chicken. No, no fried chicken at a McDonald's in the US yet. I feel like McDonald's in the US is slacking. They're slacking. Look at this. A creamy mashed potato cup at McDonald's. You betcha. I'm ordering that. And then we're gonna get a cup of corn too. Actually, we showed you guys the corn a few weeks ago, so we're not gonna do that because that's an expensive cup of corn. Man, everything in Hong Kong, everything in Hong Kong is expensive. How do you guys do it? I don't understand. You're people like, bro, we just people, survived. Man. People think that Hong Kong's cheap, and then when they come here, they realize, no, we're on par, par with any American city, like Paris, yeah. New York, not American. It's expensive. All right, signature collections. Man, some bomb ass Angus burgers don't play. But you know what? I'm not going to get that because there's no way I can finish one of those. All right, you know what, guys? Um, I think we should go with... We got to do something else. You just want a bunch of desserts, huh? All right, you know what? Let's do... No crazy McFlurries, though. Oh, I did see a pie that's different. There are some different pies here. A matcha soy milk pie. Yes. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Did I do that right? Yeah. You added two, I think. Oh, I added two. Okay, well, we'll cancel that here in a second. And then what else is different? Let's get another food. Let's try the ham and egg mayo ciabatta. Don't play with me, bro. I'm about to try all of this stuff. I can't believe we got a pizza. We just ordered a pizza at, at a McDonald's in Hong Kong. That is insane. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to put the camera down. Yeah? No, I'm not going to. No, you know what? Let's do a cheesecake. We're about to go hard. Or donuts. Cheesecake or donuts? I'll, le I'll leave that one up to you. Cheesecake. Cheesecake. Okay. Blueberry New York or purple sweet potato? This one, huh? This sounds the roughest. Purple sweet potato cheesecake. Who orders a sweet potato cheesecake? Seriously. Sweet potatoes popular in Hong Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, guys. Well, um... What's I think that's it. You know what? Bucks. You know what? Let's go with the salt and pepper uh, crispy thigh as well. Why not? I'll let you try this one because um, uh, oh, thank you. I've definitely had my fair share of McDonald's fried chicken. All right. Now, um, no, I think the order looks pretty good. We got one salted crispy thigh, a sweet potato pie, a ham and egg ciabatta, matcha soy milk pie, creamy mashed potato, a Shogun burger. Man, I'm about to make a wrap. All right. Complete order pay here all right guys well i'll see you once the food makes it on out so got all of the meals they actually brought it out on trays and then i was told that i was not allowed to film inside so now we're moving over to a soccer field yeah and i'm excited because the food 
looks bomb y'all i mean the pizza that just came out looked crazy so um yeah we'll make it over to the soccer field and then we'll go to town on our on our 30 dollars mcdonald's meal i'm excited about the pizza me too i think the pizza is what i'm most excited about all right we're only a block away see you guys there so we found a nice little park now this might be the most ghetto jankiest setup i've ever had at a mcdonald's but it's fine um the lighting inside was bad anyway let that manager see i didn't want to film inside his mcdonald's anyway no jokes aside but how do you like the setup does this look appealing to you it's, virginia it's awesome the the peach is very peachy and the purple is very very purple i'm excited yeah. for you to try okay well let's run through the line this here is the um the peach drink we got our sweet potato cheesecake we got a cup of mashed potatoes i swear i've only seen this like at popeyes and church's chicken my pizza that's been exposed to the environment um my crispy chicken thigh two pies this is our japanese burger we got oh what's this one I, I already forgot what i ordered because this is what happens when you just order random things oh this is a ciabatta with egg and ham don't play yo don't uh-uh that looks bomb all right what's here let me see oh there we go that's the perk that of having light. two people Ooh, oh oh your condensed oh that's the condensed milk bread no all right yo we're about to go hard now i'm gonna be honest with you guys i'm about to start with the drink first yeah you're probably gonna need a, a few napkins by the end of this video let's go with the the peach drink now what's the boy band that is this mirror mirror the mirror peach drink korean boy band Hong Kong. Mm, Hong Kong boy band. They're, I'm glad I made that mistake or else you guys will probably think that Chris listens to boy bands. To be fair, I'm not judging. I just never actually listened to one. Yo, it's kind of weird. The bottom tastes like a Yoplait yogurt. Like it's all yogurt at the bottom. Oh, no, maybe you're supposed to mix it. Mm. You know what? It's very weird tasting. <laughs> I'll take your word for it. Yeah, it's very weird tasting. Is it better now? No. Mm -mm. There's like um pieces of peach inside, kind of like a lychee. Oh, we no, love that. or um like a boba, like the grass jelly kind of thing. No, very cool. Now you know what? I want you to be one of the first testers. I'm gonna give you the honors to test the pie, and actually. I got another pie too, so we're gonna go ahead and try it both. Now, Virginia is actually not gonna be eating a lot of this stuff because I caught her at the wrong time. She actually just got done eating lunch. So she's All not right. gonna be partaking in this one. But I think, you know what? I'm just gonna bite into it, but I'll let you do like the pull. Let's look inside there. Oh, that's matcha. Matcha and cream pie. I think it's tofu. Tofu? I okay, hope it's not try. tofu. Cheers. Matcha pie from McDonald's. Dude, it's actually... It's bomb, huh? It's not too sweet. It's not it's too bad. It's not too sweet. Mm. That's why I can actually do this one. It's very light. You know... I'm not a huge fan of matcha, but that is nice. That is good. I think that's going to be a lot better than this pie. I'm just judging this pie hella hard. A sweet potato pie. They couldn't think of anything better. Are you kidding me? You're going to finish that, aren't you? I'm still eating it. Yeah, you All can. Right. Well, we'll move on to the next one. Now, you know what? I simply can't hold off on this one. I've never seen a pizza from McDonald's ever in my life. And it's actually made with different ingredients on top. This one's chicken and pineapples. But you know, usually when you order something off the specialty menus at McDonald's, they'll have like the same meat that they use for the cheeseburger or you know other menu items, but on on, on in the spaghetti or on the rice. This is completely different ingredients. So let's try the wonderful pizza from Hong Kong McDonald's. The top looks wonderful. It's just the bottom. Yo, that is. You sure you don't want to try it? This is bomb, dude. Yeah? Bomb. Man, I could eat this whole thing. Okay, it's definitely not like a 
It's not a Pizza Hut pizza, but it is bomb. Yeah, you need that piece of chicken. It's bomb, huh? Yo, that's, it's crazy that that pizza is so good. It really makes no sense. I would, I, I might have to come back to that one at the end. No? It, it's bomb though, isn't it? Like it's definitely, I don't know. It doesn't taste like a, like one of those cheap freezer pizzas. It actually tastes, it doesn't taste like an expensive pizza neither, but it tastes, it tastes decent. The chicken is very decent. The chicken is very decent. Speaking of the chicken, you know what? I think, you know what, Virginia? I'll let no. you hold this, please. Um, oh, in my head. Wait. Yeah, right like now. that. Now, I'm actually going to go with the, the mint crispy thigh. It, ex it actually looks like a leg, though. And the mashed potatoes. I think, like, this is a oh, perfect combination right there. Oh, that's good. Mashed potatoes in a cup from McDonald's. You've never seen that before, guys. I mean, only in Hong Kong. Now, the guy, there's like a lady walking around who's like cleaning this park, and she's looking at me like, I hope you pick up all this shit, and I definitely will. I won't leave it here, but you know what? I can't hold back. I love mashed potatoes. The gravy looks amazing. The color of the mashed potatoes looks actually appealing. And it's actually not bad. Man, McDonald's in the US. You need to step your game up. Like, the rest of the world has so many better menu options and we've had the same shit on our menu for years and when you guys do bring something special back you bring us the mech rib nobody wants a mech rib no more we need mashed potatoes yeah that is that's crazy good all right here goes the chicken yo that looks to be fair everything looks i see why they call it the fanciest mcdonald's yo did we order the barbecue one no, salt and pepper. Oh man. Yeah, it's very nice. Definitely super greasy though. But it tastes like a barbecue flavor. Now, guys, Ooh. bear with me. I have so much to eat. Virginia's like, came I thought with you the were to I, wash. I thought you were gonna dunk the chicken in the mash. Should I dunk the chicken in the mash? <laughs> She's like, yeah, nodding her head. She's like, bro, where are you even from? You know what? I like this. You're right. Mashed potato with the chicken. That hits different. That's bomb. She's like, yeah, thank you. That's super good. Yo, guys, seriously. I never thought that I would have fun making McDonald's videos for you guys, but they actually are super entertaining because, like, we've never seen items like this in our countries. I mean, this one... You know what? We can both take a bite out of these. It's two pieces, so I'll let you, you do the honors. The... You're not running away from from everything. This is the egg, ham, and cheese ciabatta. Still warm. It actually looks really decent. Well, we only walked like what three minutes from the McDonald's. <laughs> to be fair, all right. Okay. Let's Cheers. Mm. Yo, it's fire. It tastes that like it tastes like an egg McMuffin. To be honest, though, don't play with me. I'll still rather take my English McMuffin over this because I don't know. That's my comfort food at McDonald's. I really love an English McMuffin with a hash brown, but this it's acceptable. It's good. It's a little oily. It's a little salty, and it's so good. And it's soft, man. Like mm -hmm. the bread is actually, you know, I hate to say this, but it doesn't feel like terrible quality like i really hate to say that because i know it is i mean it's mcdonald's but to be fair for the price point that we just got done paying yeah it, i'm glad it tastes half decent because this is the most expensive mcdonald's video i've had to date but so worth it i like it more than the pizza too really mm. i would buy i think i'm a huge fan of the mcdonald's pizza mm. yeah and unfortunately, I need something to drink, so I'm gonna go back to this yogurt peach thing that Virginia made me buy. Wait, you didn't buy any fries. Isn't that a sin? You have a very good point. I've never been to McDonald's and not bought fries. This is the first time. And you know what's crazy? Is that here they have like seaweed seasoning, barbecue seasoning that you can shake the fries in. That looked terrible. <laughs> that you can shake the fries in. And I've never seen that anywhere else in the world, so super cool. Look at this fly. 
Get off of my toes, bro. All right. Well, you know what, Virginia? I hate to tell you this, but can you please be camera woman? Look, she destroyed that toast. Okay. Look, the person that's not hungry decided she was gonna just destroy the toast. But yeah, look, let's go with this bread with condensed milk. Let me tap that screen, that way you can see a little bit. Okay, so it's just a peanut butter toast with condensed milk. Yeah. Definitely how you get diabetes. This, I don't think I'm gonna like destroy the whole thing. This looks rough. Oh my God, there's a mosquito on there. Okay, well, let's go fast because I feel like anything that lands on this is getting stuck. Ew. To be it fair- It smells great though, I love peanut butter. To be fair, it smells great, but it looks ew, to be honest. It looks disgusting. Tastes terrible as well. No, this is not good. That's a no gum. The bread's hard as hell. Um. Um. Yeah, the peanut butter tastes like some very, very just cheap peanut butter. And the condensed milk in there? Not for me. No, that one is not gonna... That is not gonna be consumed by me today, guys. Not happening. All right, to I the I don't burger. really like that one. But you know what? You can't like everything. So that's fine. But so far, McDonald's out of Hong Kong, I mean, what have we tried? We've tried the leg, the pie, the mashed potatoes, the pizza, the ciabatta, the drink can go away too. Now, like they're doing like, yeah, five out of seven. Like five items out of the seven we've tried so far have been, have been great. Now this one, I'm a little bit worried about guys. This here is the Japanese burger that just got announced here Ooh. in Hong Kong. It's the Shogun burger. Now, this is a mystery meat patty. No one really knows what this patty is made out of. Rumor has it that it might be a little bit mix of pork, chicken, and beef. That's just some false information I just made up. But sounds cool, all right? All right, let's dive on into it from the, just by looking at it though, it looks like a normal burger from McDonald's, right? I don't know, you tell me, Virginia, it looks normal? Mm-hmm. Smells pretty good. It smells like barbecue, like some Hawaiian barbecue. That's what it smells like. Okay. Mystery meat, acceptable. Mm. This is good. What's the sauce like? Like teriyaki. Mm -hmm. Real strong teriyaki flavor, honestly. This burger is amazing. Mm. I would really order this. However, they do have an egg option. And I can't see myself like eating this with an egg. That's why I actually didn't order it with the egg. But the burger itself is actually very nice. I don't know. If I were you, there's some utensils right there. Cut off a piece and try that. Just, just, just do it for us. I'm telling you, you're gonna be shocked. You're gonna be shocked. Virginia's over here trying to trying to miss out. But come on, let's be real. You're never gonna go into McDonald's and just order all this just to try it. Like, yeah. now's your chance. Okay. It's very soft. It is soft. Let Oh, poor burger. Look at what she just did to it. Poor burger. Oh, no. Okay. Mm. It's damn good, huh? It's weird. Yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad, huh? I think that's that goes to say for a lot of the McDonald's stuff. Like... It's not great, it's not amazing, but it's not bad. Like, to be fair, like a lot of the stuff is very passable. Like, I see why it's on the menu. Well, obviously, you can imagine all of these items get tested by so many people before it probably comes out to the menu. Ooh, there's a little bit of heat at the end. Really? Yeah, there's a little bit of heat. And also, you can taste the sesame seeds. It's quite nice. It is a little bit like all one texture though. It is. Well, the lettuce kind of gives it a crunch, mm -hmm. but the lettuce is quite soggy as well too, so you're you're lucky if you get a crunch in that. It's not bad. Now, you know what? I think the moment of truth. Bum 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 bum. Oh, your purple thing. Bum 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 bum. Bum 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 bum. Guess who's eating it first? Bum 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 bum. Oh. I'm gonna let you go for it. Well, it says consume immediately after purchase. So. Okay, well it's been immediately like 15 minutes after purchase, but still. Uh it's not bad. Okay, okay. Now, 
Guys, the reason why I invited Virginia into this video, because the last time I saw you was, well, literally the day we filmed. It's been a week. So um, the day we filmed the street food video was the only time I hung out with Virginia. She's extremely busy, and I've actually been running around doing other things in the city. But um, I invited her because, well, she's actually lost a little bit of motivation on her YouTube channel in the last few months to keep it real. However, you're slowly finding it again. So um, I wanted to invite you out to this video to join me because sometimes that's all you need is that little extra push. So please go show Virginia some love, leave her some comments and tell her, start making videos again, bro. All right, thank you, thank you. Where do you, here, I'm gonna leave that for you. I'm gonna do the back end of it. Oh, just go ahead, eat it all. I don't think I need to experience no, 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 no. that one. You definitely will need to eat this. Sweet potato wow, pie. Very purple. It is. Oh. It's just very sweet. That's all. Really? Yeah. All right. Actually, it's not as bad as mashed potato spoon. spoon. No, I'm no, joking, no, guys. No, no. I'm joking. It's actually not as bad. The texture, I don't know how. Okay, hold on to that tight. Ooh. Oh man, this looks terrible. Like, if I've ever seen something look extremely processed and and horrible for you, this is it, right? Like, <laughs> like Virginia's analyzing it's really it. Really like, purple. It, it's really, really purple, guys. And like, just by slicing into it, I could tell like this is not what your body should be. But consuming. eating it is not offensive. Really? Yeah. Is it offensive? It's not good neither. Dude, that's pretty terrible. Really? There's no flavor to it. Well, it's just like sweet. It's not even sweet. There's like no flavor to that. Try that again. There's no flavor to it. It's just bland. Well, I dig it. I'll be okay with it. It's, well, you said it yourself. They consume a lot of sweet potato here. I don't know. Oh yeah, maybe I'm used to it. You know, I can't even taste the sweet potato, can you? No, that I no. can't. It's just sweet. It's just all like artificial sugar. Like it's, it's terrible. Oh, not a fan. Not a fan. So, so far, you know what? We've What's your tried, best thing? We've tried everything. Best thing, pizza, this burger. I don't know. She said there's like, it all tastes the same. It all has the same texture, but I think this burger is actually very doable. Um, I also really like the matcha pie. If I have to choose a sweet item, the matcha pie is the go-to. The crunch on the outside. And then, you know, I grew up eating like the apple pies from McDonald's. So very similar, it brings back memories. It's great. This, you can keep that. You can keep the drink. You can keep the, that toast. That's all yours. That can stay in Hong Kong. However, American McDonald's, we need the pizza. We need the pizza. We need the mashed potatoes in a cup and we need the fried chicken. It's been years already. Like the pizza I've never seen before, but the fried chicken, we're lacking. Fried chicken at McDonald's, man, seems to hit the spot. And you know what's funny? You can vouch for me on this one. When you go into McDonald's in these Asian countries, people love the fried chicken. Like they go in there and they buy buckets to share with their family. It's very impressive. Do you guys have Jollibee? We do, but I've never been to one yet. So I need to go try that. They got, they got good fried chicken, I heard, huh? And spaghetti. But I'm saving that video for the day that I touched down in the Philippines. So, yeah, which will happen soon. But anyways, Virginia, thanks so much for joining me. I appreciate you. Um, feel free to kill the pie. That's all yours. Now, um, this stuff right here, I'm actually going to pack up right now because I hate wasting food. And we'll see where we dispose of this. But look at this, guys. I mean... What better place to eat McDonald's? I'm glad we weren't allowed to film inside the McDonald's because this, this is Hong Kong. And you know, chances are, when you pop into a McDonald's here in Hong Kong, this is how you're gonna eat your McDonald's. You're gonna go to a park or you're gonna eat it while you're walking the street or outside. Most of the local spots don't even have seating. So we're doing it like a real local Hong Konger. Virginia, thank you so much once again. It's been fun. Hopefully next time you're a lot more free so we can make more videos, but, um, the what? Four hours on Monday, two hours now. The six hours that we've spent together have been fun. And um, yeah, it's been great. We need to run back a street food challenge part two though, because she didn't take me to eat dim sum and I'm in Hong Kong. Dim sum next time. Dim sum next time and the clay pot. Anyways, guys, this is gonna be the last video of the Hong Kong series. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys come on out if you do. Hit up Virginia for a food tour. Excellent guide, excellent person to hang out with and Right now, as the, as the economy is starting to recover here and the tourism is starting to recover, 
people like Virginia and other people who depend on tourism really need your help this time around. I mean, Hong Kong will be back to thriving very, very soon. And um, honestly, I'm, it's a bummer that it took me so long to get here. This city's gorgeous, it's amazing, and I'll be back. Later, guys.